Hello, 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 hello. Say hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is Kitty Caps, where I watch it with you because we in this together, honey. But before we start, I just want to say thank you for stopping by in the first place. It means the world to me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it, okay? Today we'll be recapping and reviewing episode 2 of Young and the Reckless. And it's called Getting Too Reckless. Why do they keep changing the name of this show? Is it Young and the Reckless? Young and Reckless? Young or young and reckless. Wait, is it young and reckless or young and reckless? The amount of errors that they have just in the titles and stuff is unprofessional. It is unbelievable. I don't know how much they getting paid. They need to they need to hire somebody new or get them a raise so they can do it better. So boom, we get straight into it with Crystal and Adriana, right? I ain't see not one real punch get thrown during that whole fight. All they did was like tussle each other and pull on each other uh hair. And that was it. I, I missed any fight, any actual fighting that happened. So during this, you got Nas auditioning to be the host. And then um, Ivory auditioning to be a, a, a boxing coach. She trying to teach um Crystal how to fight. I'm with Ivory. That, I would have been laughing too because that fight was comical. Um... If they had to be a winner of the second round, it would be Adriana. She connected more and she looked more confident while she would fight. Um, Crystal did try to like scratch her face. I was trying to get her eyelashes off, but she did try to scratch her face. Crystal did keep running up, but that was a very comical fight. It wasn't. It wasn't even worth it. They could have just. They could have talked that out. And out of nowhere, Ivory like roundhouse kicks get um Adriana in the face like for no reason. And then Nas just like dabbing her up. I'm like, that was so uncalled for. She gotta be so drunk. Cause this is like the like third or fourth person she didn't try to bully. Yeah, she was drunk. Cause she was like, I don't know why basically why I hit her because she's pretty. I like her. I really feel like I, I, I didn't I held back the last review, but she definitely is mad because all these girls look better than her and are way more polished. No shade. Cause why she bite everybody fighting everybody that is like for no reason. They ain't do nothing. Ivory admits in the confessional that she was wrong. Like she didn't even she don't know why she did it. It was drunk. It was it was the alcohol. It was the alcohol and the cameras and the cloud. This is why Ferrari, Ferrari will not be a host. How are you not gonna tell her that she was wrong? Cause she don't want to get beat up. Cause Ferrari can't fight. They they have to put somebody of the host that the girls are gonna respect. And Ivory and Naj is definitely not gonna respect Ferrari because they know Ferrari can't fight. So how are you like not gonna tell her that she was wrong for just like kicking this girl underneath a table? <laughs> Naj is definitely trying to take on um, Ferrari job cause she's like y'all. Every time Ferrari say something, Naj like interrupts her. And says it over. That's why I told you they was messy for letting um, Nas know that they was going. They may or may not be firing Ferrari if she don't do a good enough job. Cause Nas will beat her up for that job. Remember last episode, Ivory heard that somebody was coming to jump her. So immediately we find out the two, you know the two girls that have been that are a duo. So she hype up, hop already because remember, she wants to fight. She's drunk and she wants to fight the girls that said they want to jump her don't take two of them to be her up respectfully <laughs> respectfully well regardless she said y'all the ones that said they're gonna jump me and they look at her confused and they're like that's not us so um i'm curious to see if there's more people coming into the house or if there's just a rumor that she made up in her head like the demons or the the demons also known as production made that up so she can beat up somebody which is probably kind of true uh, Legacy then comes out of nowhere and surprises Charmaine because she's you know she has a problem with Charmaine. I think Charmaine and uh, I think it's Cass. We don't I don't remember, but she's like okay, the two girls don't want to fight, so she steals off on uh, Legacy steals off on Charmaine. I watched it a couple times. I would say Charm. I would say Legacy one. Um, when they get towards the window, Charmaine is trying to hit her but it looks like more like she's trying to grab 
the back of her, her braids. Um, they actually find and it was funny because when she was yelling, Kuzo was like standing there like a like an action figure, looking at her like, What the hell? You can tell that Blueface has a type because she has a very similar body type to um to Christian Rod. I don't ever think I've really seen a full season with Najon, but she annoying. She annoys hearing her whole voice while she's screaming. Especially because you know she's auditioning for someone else's job. She is very annoying. But anyway, um, after Legacy gets done with Charmaine, she then turns to Cass. And they get into it. So Legacy and Cass fight. And I think it was pretty even. Um, despite the height difference, I think it was pretty even. She Cass thinks that she hit her a lot more than she actually did. Because I don't think that she realized that her arms are very little and it didn't really land. Uh, Legacy's hits landed more, but Legacy's really scrawny, so I don't really think they they hurt. But yeah, they just rolled around a little bit on the floor, um, with Nas screaming in the background. So I would say I don't really think they have a winner. I think it was not. I don't think it was long enough to to have a real winner. So far, I really like Legacy and Ky. I don't know my name is Kai Kai or Ky. I gotta hear them say her name again. But I like the two of them. KY reminds me a little bit of Michelle. I think I said that last time. She reminds me a lot of Michelle. Deja vu. But I disagree with KY that uh, Legacy got beat up like that. Because neither one of them beat Like, did she even see the fight? Because they was on the floor. Neither one of them really got beat up like that. I mean, it was... Both fights were fairly weak. And even still, I would think they're still more in Legacy favor than the two girls that were talking mess. The only time that um Legacy got beat up is by Ivory. At this point, at least, she do get beat up eventually by um Charmaine because she jumps off the, the counter to fight What's the other one, Cass. But she misses and she go, runs into the window. And in that interim of her running into the window, Charmaine then has the opportunity to fight her. But it was funny because uh, Ivory is telling her to uppercut, uppercut. She's telling uh, Charmaine to uppercut Legacy in the face because, you know, obviously Legacy and Ivory fought. And <laughs> you can see that. Uh, I'm doing it like they can see it. <laughs> you can see uh, Charmaine trying to do it, but she's kind of like missing the uppercut. So, so she like going like right past her face. It's like, no, they fighting. With their eyes closed. I'm still trying to pinpoint who I think Legacy look like. The last time I said I think it was Wei Wei. I don't think it's Wei Wei. I think it's now it's kind of, she's kind of giving me maybe more like, um, like bird, like a bird featured, uh, uh not Katy Perry, uh, Carrie Hilson. She kind of like Carrie Hilson, but like with smaller features. I don't know who purse Ivory got, but you got to be careful because you know they say she a thief, allegedly. So Legacy tried to get her lid back because, um, with, not a little bad because she hit Ivory first last round. She tried to, you know, she want to get Ivory again. So, because, you know, she was pumping them up when they was fighting her. So, she hit her and her, her poor little small fist hit in, in the face. And Ivory to her. Ivory definitely to her. And, again, I don't like Nas. Nice, because then she go doing all that stuff. And then she going to sneak Legacy in the face. Cause she feel like um she didn't like the fact that she snuck Ivory, but I'm saying like how you gonna you you upset that she snuck Ivory, but you had nothing to say when she just drop kicked Adriana in the face for no reason. She ain't, hadn't even met Adriana. At least her and um Legacy got beef. That didn't even make no sense. These people are, are fucking oop hypocritical drunks basically. And Naj got her teeth done. She got that gap removed, and she really forgot herself because that was really disrespectful and uncalled for. Feel good though with her new teeth. And then here go uh, Cuzzle trying to get into. I'm like, now you doing that, but you had all this time around this girl. But you know, girl, Cuzzle is a D rider too, and she want to be famous like the rest of them, honey. Which is funny because she's she was famous before the rest of them. Hey, how bad did Cuzzle beat a uh, Shea Bay? Cause she got band aids all on her neck and on her face. I don't know who wig Ivory got? It might be Cassis. Who knows? Um, either it's either Cassis or I'm assuming it's Cassis because she's talking to Charmaine, and she's outside on the on the patio or whatever, <clears throat> and she got a wig because she had it on her head, and she said, "Who wig is this? Wig? This your wig? This your wig?" She's like, "Uh, well, uh, I'm not giving you this wig." She's telling Charmaine, and she's like, "If your friend want her wig back, tell her to come get it. I'm gonna fight her for her wig." I'm like, "Didn't they just tell you that she they're not the people that were trying to fight you?" 
I don't know if it, I'm assuming it's not Legacy Weed because Legacy, when she came out, she had braids. She didn't have no weed. And then she rips the entire frontal part out of the weed. It may be Charmaine Weed. I don't know. By the way, if she reacted, it may have been Charmaine Weed. Either way, go. They don't want to fight Ivory Big Ass. Ooh, I can't say that. <laughs> they don't want to fight Ivory. I'm going to call it now. KY and Ivory going to get into it because KY does not like Ivory. So they outside, uh, the two girls with the BBLs that I can't remember, and KY and Crystal. And Crystal's mad because she got beat up. And she's like, man, I should have just waited. I should have waited like Nas told me to. I'm like, girl, it's okay. You can't fight. The other girl you fall can't fight either. And respectfully, she got kicked in the face by a big ass. I got to stop saying that. <laughs> she got kicked in the face for no reason. So she came out looking worse than you. Well, maybe not. Well, physically, she feels worse than you. So, there's something. I have a question. How come on these shows, y'all ever notice, like, us, when we have the non-black <clears throat> people that be fighting with each other, and we always try to, like, encourage them not to fight and all that kind of stuff like that, and, like, handle it maturely? Why is it that they can do that for them, but they don't see it for themselves? Is it just because they can't fight? Like, it say... For instance, if the two girls could really could really scrap, would they have that same conversation? I mean, I know that's not important, but I'm just curious. Let me know what your thoughts down in the comments. I'm going to agree. Ferrari ain't going to be a good host with her her action figure BBL, the way she's standing there all in. She's like, it's too much going on. It's too much going on. Take charge, sis. Call people out. Let them sit down. Tell them. People will respect you. If you put your foot down. And girl, you the host. They're not going to be more. Maybe they will let you get jumped. But you shall. If, at least if you talk to Miss, you can see who going to. If you talk to Miss and stand up for yourself, you're going to see who don't really respect you. Uh, uh, What's her name? Crystal is Mexican. Honduras. And Adriana is just Mexican. And she feels like. Um, Crystal feels like Adriana ain't really being herself when she said she said she told her to just be Mexican. So I'm assuming she feels like Adriana X black and does the most. Yeah, they just want she they want they put them together to be beef with each other because they both Latinas. If they keep it up, they may end up being a pretty decent show. I ain't gonna lie. Um, we also found out that Cash and Charmaine were definitely um talking about. KY, which is more than likely means that they were the ones who said they were going to jump Ivory. And probably they saw Ivory in person and realized they didn't really want that smoke. Because I agree. I agree. She's, I agree that this show is definitely trying to be uh, actual baddies. You know, like being pretty and fighting occasionally. Because they don't really want to fight like that. Like they will fight, but none of these girls really want to fight like that. Except for Ivory, Legacy. <laughs> And Naj. And I think it's so funny that Naj is complaining about um Legacy sneaking. I'm like, didn't you, like, jump Krishan? Didn't you, like, sneak into the fight between E.T. and Krishan? If if my memory served correct, or at least that's how, and that's what everybody else says that you did. So how are you going to be telling people what they should or should not do if, if you do that all the time? If you've already done that? That's what these people, they always do that. They always are so hypocritical. I'd be so mad when... It happens to the, to themselves or their friends, but but be the first one to do first one in line to do it themselves. And Ivory is a walking and finds Legacy in the bathroom, and so they get to fight. She she pops Legacy, and here go they trying to break it up. And here go um, I it just annoys me for Ivory boys home. So then her hair go that shit weed bitch that shit weed bitch, um. Uh, y'all throw hands. Uh, I think Nas just throw hands, and I'm like, girl. She can pull hair. This girl probably just tore her face up. Like she probably opened the door, and 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 like like the Donkey Kong, King Kong smashed that girl. Like what are you talking about? Like she's allowed to pull her hair. Y'all be picking and choosing when 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 um ain't no rules and fighting. Yeah, like girl, hush Ferrari, hush. You just trying. You just trying to um trying to be on level with Nas right now. You need to figure out how to secure your job and make these helpers stop fighting. Did they take the locks off the doors or something? How, how was she able to just... What? First of all, you know she ain't got no manners. You don't knock before you just don't knock before you enter a room. 
especially a bathroom i think i really need to get over it because you told her she was boring and you asked her to fight and now you told me you want to fight her not. i've been calling this girl k while at the jail her name kai my bad <laughs> Yeah, Ivory has to be drunk because she only remember who she fought. She's like, she's because now, um, K, K now I don't know her name because all I can think about is KY. Kai. Kai and, um, uh, Cass are talking out because remember, Kai felt, you know, I told you before that they had got into it on the live, you know, so and so. Um, so they talking it out like grown ups because Naj wanted them to fight because she was like, don't have them fighting in the hallway, they don't fight in the living room, whatever. And she's like, no, they're gonna talk it out like grown ups because their be none of the, their beef isn't that deep. Um, but obviously, Ivory enters the room and she like, one of y'all can get it, one of y'all can get it because she thinks that they're one of the girls that fought her and she don't know. Um, they are aware that she's like circulating with the security just in case, but they they are working it out. Um, Cass seems more. Uh, you say she seems apologetic or receptive to just like talking out. Um, Kai is on guard, but you know, they agreed to not to fight basically. During that, out of nowhere, Ivory comes to try to hit um, Cass in the back of the head. I'm like, do you even know why you want to fight her? I'm assuming she still thinks that that's one of the girls who said it was gonna jump up, but it's like, come on now, y'all talking about sneaking, and here she go. And again, out of nowhere, um, Ivory pulls. Kai wig and she hit her but I'm gonna say this she stand her ground she do hit her back uh she definitely is super drunk and on guard because she thinks this is South Central I don't know see what I'm saying she why would you bring I told you Naj had to be the limit of the reckless of the reckless Ivory was too much but these girls they're from shows that are used to fighting over and over again this should have been a completely new cast new cast because everybody is doing fine and I think Ivory is really changing the dynamic of it and Naj is pumping it up and it's gonna make it even worse but because that was just so uncalled for but I will say this Ivory's intuition is not wrong we already know that Kai don't vibe with Ivory she's already said it she said she know she feels some type of way she don't like the way that Ivory is at it but at the same time Ivory was the, was in her face and she called her out so her fit but her feelings is valid both of the brothers feeling is valid uh so her intuition is correct and i'm pretty sure they cast one cast talk crap about ivory too online because if they were talking crap about all the other girls why would they exclude ivory and Naj? so her intuition is correct it's just how she going about it is terrible but ivory did hit her really hard like the way she hit her in the back of her head like i'm telling you these people be like barely surviving without being concussed in my personal opinion by the way they be sneaking each other and the things that they be doing but they square up again because the security like y'all want to y'all want to have a round go ahead me in the middle and everybody is just so confused like sav is like shot as to why they fight and i'm really curious because the way cuz i was looking like she was ready to jump in but ivory beats her up she she does fight back but ivory that's what i'm saying like the fact that Ivory's like trying to tell me she's worried about getting snug and stuff like that. It's like, girl, it don't matter who sneak you because most of these girls can't beat you up. And you know that. So you're just using your weight and you're against them for no reason by sneaking them. And they really want Ivory to chill out. Ivory said basically she ready, she wants to fight the whole house. <laughs> they should have put her in the room and let her calm down. Let her, uh, let her sleep off that alcohol. And that's what they get for letting a girl who's 20 get drunk on the show i don't know if she was 21 at the time of filming but i know a majority of the show that she was filming she was not 21 i'm gonna just say allegedly regardless yeah so charmaine and um cash are the ones that were talking crap about her because they said they said they're gonna admit that they're gonna back down from fighting her which means that when she said uh who said they was gonna jump me who was the ones that jump because they're the only ones that's friends in the house so they they realized that they didn't want that pressure but I respect um, Kai for squaring up with her. Not once, but twice. Even if the first time was just self-defense. Because me, I would have I would have called the police. She was going to hit me in the back of the head when she hit me in the back of the head for no reason. I would have called the police. And she big, way bigger than me, girl. I would have called the police. I'm sorry. She would have been in jail crying, trying to see her baby messing around with me. Because the way she is brutally sneaking these girls, ridiculous. And yes, Cass. 
her hands are probably dirty because if she just be walking into the bed, she don't she like to take that pee and don't wash her hands. Um, I'm sorry. At this point, only people that ain't fault is um the BBL girls and um the girls that came in with the with the double men twins. Uh, so I know I like that Ferrari pe red panties match her her shoes. Definitely, um, now I'm just trying to audition to the thing. She trying she down she. Behind the scenes to the producer, like, I see, you know, I'm not doing this. I know how to keep it quiet. I do that. I'm like, and she's like, girl, you just hit somebody. It's like, girl, they, you already trying to take her job on day one. Like, you ain't even going to try to at least win the, the challenges and, and actually maybe earn it. Girl. And she's still trying to defend herself for being a legacy or whatever because she felt or hit sneaking legacy because she feel like they let her sneak everybody. I'm like, so you're not going to address that your friend Ivory just snuck everybody because she fought for the most part? Cause of a follower, she don't even know why she like let legacy. She's like, oh, I thought she was gonna be cool, and blah blah. I'm like, girl, do you not know why you don't like her besides the fact that Naj and Ivy don't like her, and which means that, and respectfully, I feel like y'all, Naj, I'm okay, you ain't trying to be funny. I feel like Naj and Cuz I don't want to get beat up by Ivy because I'm the type of person that make you pick a side, and if you don't pick her side, she will beat you up. Like, did you see how she had Barbie trembling? When she made her choose between her and Cash. Like Barbara was stuttering. And kind of find out. I, I thought so. Because then I said. I said. Because uh, um, I was standing there looking like she was like she was ready to do something. Like, like an action figure. She tried to sneak. Um, she tried to hit Legacy. Because she felt like she snuck Ivory. I'm about to say this is my niece. Like the way like me and my family. We just, the way we just be casually funny. She just reminded me of that. It was like trying to clown her. Because she had. Because she was like. Because the girls. You know they on that. You know, they young. So the other girls are like, I don't want to walk around with no bandages. I don't want to walk around with no ice because I don't want the girl to think she beat me up. And Shay Bands was like, no, you know, put that on there because, you know, because she like, I'm, you know, because she like, she's beautiful. She's like, we're beautiful. You don't want to keep scars and stuff. It helps in the long run because this is called pretty young. No, it's called, I thought it was called pretty and reckless. <laughs> it's called young and, re young and reckless. And so they're all pretty girls. So they want to look pretty the next day to go clubbing and stuff. Um, and they like no, and she's like they trying to clown her, and she's like don't be trying to clown me. She's funny. I like Shea Vance. So for me, I really like Shea Vance, Kai, and Legacy. Thus far, at least until now. So I'll, hopefully they don't ruin my impression of them. It's funny though, cause they uh, Charmaine and Cass is like we do not want to fight that. Bitch. <laughs> They do not want to fight Ivory. They like she on demon time. She way too big because they know they're gonna get demolished. I like yeah, I told you if y'all probably would have jumped, you probably would have won. But if you if you jump Ivory, Cuzzo, and Naj will definitely jump in and beat y'all up. So I think smart choice, smart choice, ladies to do nothing. But Ivory outside complaining because she feel like they just sneaking her and, and trying to get a moment off her. And the Purdue, everybody around her just like low key laughing because they like girl, you are delusional. You don't even realize that it is you. You. That is the freaking problem, honey. It's you. So then, Kai and not uh, Kai and Ivory fight again right after that because you know she's in the in the like, outside patio talking mess, and so she see her and she like, what's up, what's up? And so she, you know, Kai isn't scared, so she's square. Let me tell you something. When I say she fights back, Kai and Ivory beats her up. But the problem is that I she's so skinny, uh, Kai. So. The weight of Ivory's hit knocks her down to the ground, so she able to really beat her up. I don't know why they brought Ivory into this house with this girl. <laughs> with these girls, I don't know why they brought Ivory into the house. She's gonna, it's gonna, she's gonna bob the bill in her ass. Like I <laughs> at this point, Kai's mouth is bleeding. Now I'm gonna give this next round to Kai. I don't care what y'all say. I'm gonna get the next time to work at. She took those socks off and she popped off. She out. She the grip. The ancestors was like, we not gonna let this this demon tell you up on TV. We are gonna give you one round. Cause she 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 messed up. Uh, Ivory hits probably hurt wo worse, but she got more in and they connected definitely to her face. So I'm gonna give it to her. Even if she didn't win in y'all mind, she won in mine, honey. She I, she won because she was never afraid to. Like freaking Ivory, she scored up, squared up with this girl several times and was not scared at all. There's a group, there's a whole room full of girls avoiding a fight with her. Two girls kissing her butt to uh, to avoid fighting with her, and this girl did not care. So I respect that. Uh, quick question: Where's Adriana? They, that kick 
That kick must have put her to sleep. Where is Adriana? Sir, cameraman. Why? This is the second person y'all didn't record it throwing up at them fight. We don't need to see that. You don't need to see that. We don't want to see that. That reminds me of me the most. I do agree. I think they have a pretty well put together cast. Beautiful, all of them a decent looking girl. So I agree with her on that. How is Ivory old enough to go out to a club? Like, how do they get in? I didn't really party before before i haven't really partied in a mirror even in atlanta and i'm from atlanta i haven't partied here. so how the heck does she get into the clubs and she not 21 or the other girls that aren't 21 how are they gonna party if they not gonna party but i guess you can go you just can't drink huh let's have 18 and older clubs no Anyway, so Ferrari's trying to convince a very drunk Ivory to stop fighting. Because she's like, you know, you fought everybody, you want to fight? And she, Ivory's like, no, because they're sneaking me, they're sneaking me. And um, she's like, um, and Ferrari's trying to explain to her that um, Kai didn't even say nothing about her. <laughs> but she's like, okay, but can we go out? Can we have fun? She's like, I know you used to be in, in a place full of girls that like to fight, but... We not, you know, that's not it right now. None of them really girls really want to fight you like that. Let's just, like, let's just move on. Like, it's been done. You, you know, you fought and everything. And she's like, no, like, I'm not done. I'm not done. And that's because she is an angry drunk. Iris way drunk. Because she crying. She crying like she got beat up like China. On top of her bodies. And she's the one knocking bitches. <laughs> like, girl, they, they wrong for allowing that girl to drink. I mean, and we can't even say, oh, she grown. She, you can't force her. In this case, it's not okay because she's on a production set and they have every right to control if she drinks or not on that set. And they allow her to get busy drunk. But I'm, and remember, they was in the car trying to take the bottle away from her in the car. So she been drunk for hours at this point. Hours. Basically, the episode ends with Ivory letting it be known that she has zero plans to stop fighting. <laughs> She's like, this is going on reckless, let us be reckless. And Ivory just sitting here like, looking like, why did y'all cast this motherfucker? Why do we cast this girl? Why? Why? Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, kisses. Mm -hmm.